up guys and welcome back to a brand new youtube video and today in this video we're doing another theory slash discussion video on this channel and today in this video we're going to talk about the secret origins of asta and where did he get the headband because that's like some mystery unknown history of about asta and we don't know about it and so i'm gonna do my predictions and speculations of that headband and that secret past that we don't know from asta's origin so before this video start make sure you subscribe turn the bell notification on never miss a video on this channel follow my social media as my twitter and my instagram link in the description can we get 10 likes on this video i know we can do it so make sure you smash that like button right now so let's get straight on the video so let's talk about the whole 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 beginning of asa's origin asa's origins ties with levi or Libe of the is the anti-magic demon that we have named him ever since we met him in the witch queen's forest arc so the first ever thing about asa's origins is about asa asa is being born into the orphan village church that's like the best detail we ever got of that but there is more history that we got revealed later on through the chapters that is chapter 267 to 270 and that is Lictitus, Astus mother AK who adopted Libe as her raised and raised her him as his son instead of Astus. So but before this so Lictor found a grimoire a five leaf or more that we don't know how she found it and stuff like that we don't know about that so but she found a injured Nibe in the forest that where Nibe got like bullied hit beaten by all the other higher ranking devils so he wanted to give up his life because he had no mana no mana force and nothing like that so he wants to die but he collapses on the forest floor and then he wakes up into Lictor's home. So Lictor explains that, oh, thank God I could pick you up and interact with you because I have, I have this special cursed magic type that is absorbing mana life for from other people. So that's why I isolated from loads of people from everywhere. So this is where I live by myself So because I'm such a lo loner. So a couple of years past, we see Lictor and Libe like interacting, doing like loads of different seasons. So that's like a massive time for a gap into the timeline. Then when Lictor says to Libe, "You aren't a good, you ain't a bad guy, Libe." So then Lucifer takes over the body and like this, or oh, blah blah blah, like, oh no human can interfere with me, I'm the king of de demons and that. So, Lita goes up to this possession of trying to take over Lee Bay's body. She sucks his Lucifer's mana force and his mana, but, so Lucifer goes away and floats around, around the kingdom anywhere, it just floats away. Then, she sealed sealed Libe in the grimoire because she got stabbed by Lucifer in the chest then she collapses on the floor we don't know if she dies died in that area or she lived on that's the thing that's like we don't know could but before when she saw like a sword um Lucifer's mana she said not this time and she's seen a panel of a baby and then got confirmed in chapter 270 that Libe said this is literally the sun and the basket in the panel looked like the same basket from chapter 1 and episode 1 of Black Clover. So it is confirmed that Asta is the child of Lictor but we don't know the father. That's the biggest question of all, all, all minor, all, like, basically all of Black Clover timeline. So, and I think it will play out of the headband mystery. So, what all, all we know about the headband, what we know about the headband. So, the headband came into a obsession when he, he was a kid, like, when he was a teenager, but when was it before it was definitely before grim when he got the grimoire 
So, where did this play out? Did someone in the father's family give it to him? Like, um, Garp? I didn't give anything to Luffy, but, like, always, he was always around him, like, always had the family around him, but he always left him into different people's cares because he was in the military. Did, um, this guy meet his son for once, but he couldn't stay with Asta, so that's why he gave the headband. But the unique thing about this headband, it has a demon mark on its headband, so we thought he has the demon, a connection to the demons, and it looks like it is because Libio has no mana and Asta has no mana. That's like very, very not a coincidence. That is just something that will never happen in the real world. Like that wouldn't happen. Like you have a same blood type and same genes and all that. Like it doesn't happen in real life. So we need to know why Libo and Asta was the only two people who has hasn't have any mana or magic. But people said, pe one of the chapters said, oh, there was people without magic. But it didn't say there's people without mana. So there is people with mana out there, but they can produce any magic. So Asta's condition is very, very rare. Very, very rare. So I think someone in the family or knows um, Asta's father or Lipsa gave the headband and said important things like this headband is very close to you and you will never imagine it. So that's my theory about the secret origins of Asta. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like, subscribe, turn the bell notification, you never miss a video on this channel. Can we hit 10 likes on the video? I know we can do it. My name is Luis, and see you in the next video. Peace out, guys. Slick talker since the Winter time, all the time, ooh. Yeah. Look at the way that I move. Swag. Disrespectful and I'm rude. Okay. I had cocaine in the school. Uh.